do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve question number 6 of 2015 jwe advanced physics paper so let us start with question number 6 students let us solve question number 6 of 2015 zwe advanced physics paper 1 question number 6 says a young's double slit experiment slit is slit interference arrangement so it is ydsc experiment arrangement with slits s1 and s2 these are the two slits shown in figure s2 is immersed in water this one is in water refractive index 4 upon 3 the so refractive index of this is mu of water is 4 by 3 the positions of maximum maxima on the surface of water are given by on the surface of water the maxima is formed and is given by this expression x square is p square m square lambda square minus d square where m is the number of uh, uh, the order of maximum m stands for the order lambda stands for the wavelength of light used in air refractive index 1 this is the refractive index of air 2d is the separation between the slits these two slits are separated by a distance 2d half uh, 1d in air and 1d in water so the distance uh, from the second slit from the surface of water is uh, d and uh, s1 is d so this is this point is the midpoint and m is an integer m is an integer obviously this is the order 0 for second third the value of p is in case this water is not there this point would have been a maximum that would have been called central maximum this is slit 1 this is slit 2 s1 s2 this is the mid point the distance of separation here it is d here it is d to d if the screen is placed here the ray would have traveled like this and from here like this these two rays must have met here at the center of the screen covering a distance s1 o and this covering s2 o being equal to part difference being zero the delta x the part difference being zero this field is called central bright fringe but the situation is that this is filled with water this is filled with water so there will be a additional part difference so therefore this one will never be a central bright fringe that may, might be bright fringe because it is uh, given that the positions are the uh, maximums are obtained by this expression but then uh, this is not a uh, central bright fringe there may be bright fringes and uh, then we have to see if this is filled with water if this is uh, filled with water then this is filled with water then this will create an additional part difference uh, due to the presence of this uh, medium the part difference due to uh, due to the presence of uh, the optical uh, due to the presence of the uh, transparent material uh, we know that if uh, in the if this is the refractive index mu and uh, thickness is t this distance is t then the part difference that is created due to this is uh, mu minus 1 into t this is the part difference created so this is the extra part difference created due to this because uh, the geometrical distance uh, is same only the this will create a additional part difference and that part difference uh, must be for uh, maxima 
this uh, must be equal to n lambda. So then uh, for this th th thickness, at the ray has to travel a distance uh, S2O, this S2O is uh, completely filled with uh, the material, this material or refractive index. So because uh, now this T is uh, equal to S2O here, so I'll write uh, mu water minus 1 and S2O, this total is the thickness of the medium having refractive index mu W. So therefore this is the part difference uh, created and that must be equal to N lambda or M lambda, whatever it says is M is there, so it is M times lambda. So for constructive interference or for maxima, for uh, maxima, the part difference should be integer multiple of lambda and uh, where m is integer given in quotient. So this uh, part difference which is created at the point x, this distance is x, this distance is x on surface of water. So from here we can uh, find if this is x and this is d then this distance will be x square plus d square under root by Pythagoras theorem because this is d and this distance is x where we want the uh, maximum and uh, this is the this is the distance the ray is traveling in water so this is the uh, equal to our thickness t so i'll write that uh, mu w minus 1 into this thickness that is uh, d square plus x square under root must be equal to some multiple of lambda for that point uh, x here to be a maximum general expression is this if i put the value of mu w which is given as uh, 4 divided by 3 here so it is 4 divided by 3 minus 1 under root of d square plus x square equals to m lambda this is uh, 1 by 3 this goes to this side 3 so this is d square plus x square to the power root of and this is 3 m lambda squaring both sides of the equations we have d square plus x square is 9 m square lambda square from here x square will be 9 m square lambda square minus d square now in the question given we are given with x square is this so if you compare this x square with this x square given in the question in the question we have uh, x square given as p square m square lambda square minus d square this is given and we obtained this this is p square which is given uh, we obtained we obtained 9 m square lambda square minus d square 9 m square lambda square minus d square this is obtained value comparing these two equations we have uh, if i compare these two then uh, you can see that p square will match with 9 comparing p square becomes 9 or p becomes 3 plus minus 3 obviously but uh, we are interested in only one integer value see here 2d is the separation of slits and this and the value of p is the value of p is asked what is the value of p and it is found that the value of p is found to be 3 that means the answer to this is p equals to 3. This is the 
answer to these questions. Okay, thank you.